dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family relations and loved ones, so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. A former commissioner of police in Lagos State, Mr. Fatai Owoseni, has described some village head and traditional ruler in Yoruba land as greedy and traitors. Owoseni, who is the special advisor to Governor Sheyi Makinde on security said, some village heads in Yoruba land allocated grazing land to foreign headsmen because of the cows given to them without considering the future implications of their actions. Owaseni said this while speaking at the traditional security meeting organized by the Yoruba World Assembly in Ibadan on Thursday. Participants at the summit were drawn from across the southwest. He said the foreign headsmen allocated land to would invite members of their families, friends, and fellow headsmen to come and occupy the land after some time. He stated that as the population increased, such headsmen would keep expanding and would begin to graze on farms, destroying farmers' crops. This, he said, was the cause of the crisis between herders and farmers in some settlements, but said that Governor Mackinde had begun making moves to address this in Oyo State. He said, some Bale, which are known as village heads, traditional rulers are traitors. These sects of leaders would allocate land to foreigners to graze their livestock after collecting some cows from them. They would not even carry anybody along before doing so. But after some years, they would realize that what they did was wrong but by that time there would have been clashes Owoseni, who was also commissioner of police in benue state before he retired urged traditional religion worshippers to join the government and security agents in finding solutions to the rising problem of insecurity in the state The special advisor said there was nothing wrong in security agents using charms to enhance their effectiveness if doing so was in consonance with their belief. The chairman governing council of the World Assembly of the Yoruba World Assembly Dr. Taye Ayonri Day told participants at the security summit, which included hunters, members of Agwekoya, and other vigilantes to support the government to rid the southwest of kidnappers, armed robbers, and other criminals. The convener of the Yoruba World Assembly, Dr. Taiwo Victor, said Yoruba race must begin to find how to defend itself from foreigners killing and maiming them after destroying their properties. He said these rampaging foreigners appeared to be enjoying the backing of the government. Well, it is what it is. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, 
we all know that this is so, uh, this is the practice in some communities, not just even in the west, but even in the east and even in the south south. This seems to be the practice among some you know traditional leaders, some monarchs and some ballets, as it were, village heads, where they give pieces of land to Fulani headsmen in exchange for cow and money. And at the long run, the people of the society, the farmers, uh, begin to suffer the effect of such actions. It is sad and unfortunate if you'd ask me, this should not be allowed to continue. Wherever this practice is in place, you know, those such culprits should be arrested, detained, and, uh, you know, prosecuted, as it were. Because what is the uh, worth of a cow or cows given to any monarch or chief, as it were, in the expense of another human being's life? There cannot be any compensation for such, um, for, for such a life that has been taken. So any community leader, village head, chief, monarch, as it were, that is found guilty of giving land to headsmen, you know, in exchange for money or cows, as it were, should really be dealt with, should face the law. Because the rate at which, you know, the Fulani headsmen and other people continue to kill, maim, and destroy farmlands and, uh, you know, engage host communities in battles, it's really, really saddening and should be avoided. Should not be encouraged at all in any way. Well, be that as it were, it is what it is. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. But however, the truth remains that this set of people have to be called to order. They need to be called to order because this is affecting the community and it is affecting the village head, the, the village farmers you know, who, as a result of these clashes, are now mostly unable to go to farms and are already un unable to uh, attend to their means of livelihood. And whereas nobody goes to give them food, give them jobs, or give them money to take care of themselves in the wake of these Fulani headsmen attacks. This is really, really sad and unfortunate. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? What do you think of this opinion of uh, the uh, Special Advisor on Security to Governor Shehi Makinde? Well, it is saddening and it is really, really unfortunate if you'd ask me. I stand to be corrected. Such activities of uh, those monarchs or village heads, uh, whatever they are, should be discouraged. And uh, anybody found guilty should be prosecuted according to the law of the land to forestall others from taking such step or engaging in such nefarious activities because it does not in any way um, improve the community or the society, but rather it worsens the situation and circumstances of uh, the people of the community. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Please, I would like to know what your thoughts are on this particular news story as it were. Drop by at the comment section and let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.